What better way is there to mark Peter Cushing's birthday, the 26th of May, than with news and exclusive clips of a new documentary that we've been working on, Peter Cushing Perspectives. I only worked with him for those six weeks, doing a Frankenstein created woman. But I, I met him, I first saw him when I was 15 years old. Uh, in our road in those days, there was only one telly. And on Sunday nights, I used to go along to my mates who owned this telly to watch uh, Saturday Night Theatre. And one Sunday, I saw 1984, the George Orwell. And playing the starring role was the wonderful Peter Cushing. And I thought, he was amazing. I feel very lucky to have spent a whole afternoon with Peter. It was back in May 1986. It was the day after the royal premiere for the film Biggles. And we were meant to be recording a short radio interview to help promote the film. But in the end, we just sat on the sofa and chatted. We had tea and toasted tea cakes. In those days, we were smoking too. And it was just a really interesting, long, wonderful, relaxed conversation, most of which we've got on tape. And we ended up recording well over an hour. And then 30 years after that interview, we used some of that material to help create Peter Cushing in his own words, a feature length documentary that was released in 2019, around the time of the 25th anniversary of Peter's passing. More recently, we were asked to work on a new documentary, which we've called Peter Cushing Perspectives. It's a 30 minute documentary that's part of a DVD box set elsewhere, but also available online from us. It was an opportunity to go back and revisit some of that old material, pull out some of the key moments and also look for some elements that perhaps weren't in the original documentary. Peter Cushing, perhaps if anything, was overly detailed and such that he didn't really um, have much truck with me, sad to say. He was so busy ensconced in the corner with dear Shane Bryant going through his detailed notes, you know, with a pince-nez on the end of his nose, um, making absolutely sure that his every hand movement and every gesture and every line was given enough weight and enough, you know, emphasis. Well, it's really very strong in my memory of how kind and caring and sweet-natured he was. Um, and there was just the two of us in this scene. There were a few other sort of people around, but he, he was just focused on m my well-being. I was very struck by how kind, caring, and apparently interested in me. But he would keep sort of himself to himself, um, just sitting on the side of the, the set, you know, reading his script, making notes. And when called to do his scene, he would be on set. He would just deliver the lines perfectly. He knew all his lines. He never dried or messed up any lines when I ever saw him on set. But he could sort of throw himself into the action. When, when the director called action, he would have his shot of adre adrenaline and literally take off, whether it was a fight sequence or just delivering lines or moving around quite quickly, and do it again when he had to do take two. Both documentaries, Peter Cushing in his own words and Peter Cushing Perspectives are available online and I put some links down below for you to be able to access them. It was wonderful to be able to spend time with Peter that whole afternoon in May 1986. It's absolutely vividly clear in my mind, even now, 30 plus years later. There's little wonder that he was loved by actors and fans alike. He was warm hearted and caring. You know, he really was the gentleman of horror, that often used phrase, but in Peter's case, it was absolutely true. It's been a privilege and an honour to make those documentaries about Peter and to continue to celebrate this man who's made such an outstanding contribution to our popular culture, who I'm sure will continue to remember for years and decades still to come. It'd be great to know what you think, so do leave some comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that little bell icon to get a notification every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.